absolutely a beautiful day for a groundbreaking. Because of our delegations, we're here today uh, to make sure that we get this project going. This amazing, incredible place that we are standing in today, part of the fabric of what Morgan Hill is all about. It's always good to have these kind of ceremonies because you know this is the start of something big. Shovels in the Ground, a critical project to protect the public and secure Santa Clara County's water supply is underway. Strengthening Anderson Dam, which improves the largest reservoir in the county. The Anderson Dam Seismic Retrofit Project will prevent it from slumping in the event of a large earthquake by rebuilding the dam built more than 70 years ago. Anderson Dam was a state-of-the-art project in 1950, but it was built near a seismic fault line. That is why we need to make sure it can withstand a large earthquake to the best of today's standards. A strong earthquake could damage the dam, causing a catastrophic release of a 30-foot wave of water that could inundate land more than 30 miles north to San Francisco Bay and more than 40 miles south to Monterey Bay, including much of Silicon Valley. At Valley Water, we are committed to protecting the community from the risks of earthquakes and other emergencies, like the severe drought currently impacting us. And that's why fixing Anderson Dam, which is our largest dam, is our top priority. Built in a long, deep natural gorge east of Highway 101 in Morgan Hill, Anderson Reservoir is named for Leroy Anderson, the first president of Santa Clara Valley Water District. Anderson stores local rain runoff and water pumped in through the Central Valley Project, an essential source of drinking water and groundwater replenishment. Anderson Reservoir is actually our largest of our 10 reservoirs. Uh, it can actually, at 90,000 acre feet, hold the other nine reservoirs within its footprint. So it's obviously a critical um, part of Valley Water's water supply portfolio. The reservoir can store enough water to serve about one million people for a year. Today, it sits nearly empty. The Federal Energy Regulatory Commission ordered Valley Water to drain the reservoir to 3% capacity to reduce seismic risk during construction. So for the next four years or so, you can expect the water level to get no higher than it is now. And then probably year five on, we'll actually drain it so it's bone dry so we can do the embankment reconstruction. The first step, fast-track construction of a larger outlet tunnel, giving us greater control over water levels, increasing public safety. Then, we'll rebuild the dam from the ground up. When we originally started the project, we thought it was a three-year project. The retrofit project has expanded three times since it began in 2012. Initial analysis indicated the dam didn't meet modern-day safety standards. Then, in 2016, Studies revealed previously unidentified fault lines, meaning more extensive work was needed. Then came 2017, the Oroville Dam spillway failure. In the wake of that crisis, new state standards required Valley Water to replace the spillway at Anderson Dam. Valley Water is working closely with state and federal regulators to modernize the dam for the long term, while minimizing impacts to ratepayers. There's actually over 13 agencies involved in permitting this project. It's been a monumental lift, and everyone understands the criticality of the facility at this point. It needs to get done. We can't have this just kind of sitting out there, one empty and two as a risk. Beyond seismic safety and water supply, the retrofit helps prevent and reduce impacts to the environment and endangered fish. As part of a settlement challenging our water rights, Valley Water will restore habitat and provide water for endangered fish. As part of this project, we will be improving fish barriers downstream in Coyote Creek. We'll be restoring some areas that provide habitat to fisheries and wildlife. Once the project's completed, we're gonna be in a better position to be able to provide more water to the fishery in addition to providing water for water supply. The project is expected to take 10 years, with the first few years to be spent constructing the new outlet tunnel, and the next seven to eight years to completely rebuild the dam. This is truly not just about what's happening here, it's the impact it has for many, many miles around here. Uh, and ultimately it's about our water safety, our water quality, water storage. So this is a regional project 
and with regional protection. And I just want to uh, thank the district for taking on this gigantic uh, public works project. It's a public project that's going to keep the community safer, that's going to protect our water supply, that's going to create jobs, uh, and this can be a model uh, not just for our county, but for the state and the country. Oh, I'm very proud to be part of this project. This is a once-in-a-lifetime type project. It's the most important project for Valley Water today.